You magnetized me with electricity. I blew a fuse, you burned my battery. But I wanted something more than just a one mic stand. Of all the newsrooms in all the world, she had to walk into mine, and am I glad she did? There's one thing you ought to know. I think we got our wires crossed. If you want me, there's one thing you got to change. Your limited dynamic range. I think we got our wires crossed. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, boy, you were terrific. Oh, sure. I mean it, dollface. Well, you're my favourite, Mike. Hi, Mick. Desi, I've got that fibre optic cocktail for the bus. Whoa! Yeah, wow. Well, oh. well, that's cooled me down. You know what I want. Play it again, MC. That's Dullsville, ah, USA. Try this new stuff, boss man. Okay, okay, I'll play the game, man. All right, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Dollface, but I really must be oh, going. Mick, we have to say goodbye again. I'm afraid so, Desi. Mac just can't do without me now. <laughs> Desi, MC is playing your song. Desi? Desi, Desi, what is the matter with you? Sorry? <laughs> Here, I want you to transcribe Mick's Viking report, okay? Is there something wrong, Desi? It's nothing, Don Michele. I was just thinking. But everything's fine. Absolutely fine. Could we travel to a more civilized age this time, Mac? I'm tired of being bashed up. Well, I'm sorry, hey? Mick. But today we're traveling to a land of dragons and castles, the Middle Ages. Dragons and castles? I'm getting out of here now. Oh, let me go. You're coming with me. Sorry, Mac. Back in the 10th century, Europe was being attacked by numerous invaders. Yeah! No one protected the farmers and their families, and the constant raids made food very scarce. Especially for some. Someone tell these overgrown budgies I'm sensitive electronic equipment, not a worm! Ah! Oh no, it's the Huns! Run! We've run this place to the ground! Yeah! yeah! Patsy, Belinda, Gurry, all of you into the house, quick! Here, wait for me! Look out! Ow! Oh. Yeah! 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 They turned our pigs into sausages! Our pig turned into a burger! That's the fifth invasion this month! Well, my patience is wearing thin, I can tell you! We've got to find some help, got to get protection! Hi, hi! Well, muffle my microphone, so that's how they keep track every time they're attacked. Oh, no! Hey, wait for me! Hold on, fellas, I was asleep! It's just the start, and I've been flattened three times. Ding dong! Ding dong! Gary, ding dong! All right, four times, then. At this time in history, feudal lords built huge castles where the peasants would come to seek protection from the barbaric foreign invaders. Count Spatula, I'll wield your mighty powers and save us from the foreign invaders. All right, my boy, I'll wield them. <laughs> oh, there's just one small thing. You must give me all your belongings and become my servants. Not a bad deal, eh? Yeah. Oh, good, that's agreed then. Watface, take some men and get down and collect my taxes. It's a pleasure, my lord. Right, you handsome badger squaddies, fall in on the double. Don't breath get their clothes, face out their food, pug their animals and broke What a feudal money. cheek. Count Spatula can certainly dish it out. Well, the barbarians won't rob them again. They haven't got anything left to take. I, Mick, the feudal lords had absolute power in their regions and actually owned their subjects. But then they were never completely safe either. The forests were full of outlaws and bandits. Oh, oh, where? Halt! This looked like a good place to take a little rest. Dismount and set up camp. Here! Watch it! Here! Ow! Did no one ever tell you about hand signals, Wartface? I hope you down a few rules, uh, didn't I? Uh, hey! Look out for the law! What does this guy think he's doing? doing? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, is this a scene from Tarzan? No, no it's the Robin, Robin Hood scene. scene. Robin Hood? Why does he always get the best swinging through the tree scenes? Oh, well, come on, Cheetah. Uh -huh. How about them, my merry men? That monkey again, it's always in the way. Get out of here, you seed stealer. I'm the star. Tell the loony in the loincloth to keep to his own side of the woods. Flat my tights, it's Robin Hood. Ah, if I were you, Count, I'd return everything to these peasants. I'm not scared, William Tell. I really hate being confused with him. Well... Uh, I meant to take whatever you want, Mr. Hood. Ha! Ah. 
You can come out now! Robin Hood wasn't just a bandit. He restored justice to the country, stealing from the rich to give to the poor. So the peasants ended up with what they first started with. What a life! Oh. <laughs> it's all rubbish, but I'm sure you'll find a home for it. Yeah, it's our home where the Count stole it from. Thank you, Robin. The Middle Ages wasn't just about feudal lords, peasants and outlaws like Robin Hood and his men. The friars and monks who lived in monasteries did their best to preserve culture and Ooh. produce some beautifully illustrated books. Just as I nearly finished the quill bones up. Oh! I wish someone would hurry up and invent the ballpoint pen! They copied all the most important books by hand with a speed Shut and him. accuracy that is surprising even today. You'll have 50 copies tomorrow, which is no problem now, thanks to new Baron Noto copier. Jammed again? I know how to fix it. Just a sec. Good work, Brother Smallfriar. Brother Peabody's here to take over for next shift. Technology gets smaller every day. <laughs> there was huge popular belief in witchcraft and magic, the most famous exponent being Merlin the Magician. Today we're making a magical baked chicken, ideal for those occasions when you feel the pinch. Economically speaking, all we do now is a few magic taps with a wand and uncover the pot and you have a delicious baked chicken inside. So I'll see you tomorrow for another Merlin's chicken. Cool, what a flash in the pan. Medieval knights were renowned for their bravery, saving damsels in distress and fighting dragons. A dish fit for a king, chicken a la king. Make it big for a greedy pig. Men like the knights of the square table. Well, we might as well see what this meat's like. I hate it overcooked. Oh, no, now if I can just get... No, oh, whoever pulls Excalibur from the meat chunk in a double dessert. Another one bites the dust. Oh, I see we're building up quite a collection down there. Well, at this rate, no one's going to win the double helping of dessert, I promised. Someone say dessert? You better stay out of my way, fellas, because that sword's coming out. Oh, what a fuss about a bit of cutlery. Oh, easy as pie. Speaking of which, you'll get your double dessert, Sir Scoffalot. For a decent meal, Sir Scoffalot would travel to the ends of the earth. Oh, my God. That corner, come closer in, my boy. You can't reach from the corner. <laughs> Don't worry, my name is not Jack Corner for nothing. <laughs> gotcha. Wow. I might be square, but I love corners. I'm a damsel in distress. Won't some knight save me from this dreadful dragon? There isn't anyone going to come for you. There is one knight who won't desert me, and his name is Sir... Jack Corner. Oh, my right angle, my trusty steed. Will you yield or fight? Not the old knight in armor bit again. It's such a tedious chore. So Sir Jack Corner challenged the dragon, and the dragon's breath spat fire. Oh! No! Oh. Ooh! I know! An unequal contest, but we all know brains is more better than what brawn is. Hang on! Ah! Great idea! Why didn't I think of it before? Just get rid of the helmet and the armor. Yeah, I don't care if you roast in your tin foil or not. Finally, to complete the effect, all I need now is a hose pipe. Oh! All oh, right, you win. Achoo! <laughs> and the winner is Little Jack Corner. Right. He put out the dragon's fireman. <laughs> fireman, get it? Thank you, Sir Jack. Finally, after 20 years, a brave knight rescued me from the dragon. I'm so grateful. You've won a what? kiss from your dad. Oh. 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 Sorry, I never mix business with pleasure. Besides, my heart belongs to another. Very well. It's always the same when it's a handsome knight. That kissing trick, it never works. You know, right angle, I should have lifted her up that tower. Before the introduction of the new sport of football, rich and poor alike relied on forms of entertainment that were by now becoming rather stale and predictable. Why do dragons always breathe fire? Cause they always got heartburn! <laughs> Such a pain in the throat. Go away and write some new jokes. This really is dull city. I hope something happens soon. Want to hear my new joke? Not exactly what I had in mind. I suppose that's a no, then. Even kings and queens became interested in football as its popularity spread throughout the social classes. 
Matilda, what on earth have you been up to to get so dirty? I've been outside playing football. A player princess? What a story! Football? Whatever is that? Two teams of 11 compete for a ball like this. You entertain yourself by getting hot and sweaty chasing a ball like that across a muddy field? Well, maybe there's something in it. What? Arthur, give the order right now that a football tournament shall be held and the best player shall marry our daughter Matilda. But, Mother! But, my love! No buts, Arthur! Well, I'll order the jester to proclaim it. Aye, aye. Is there anyone here, my Joe? Well, there was this jaggon. He walks into a bar. Ouch! It was an iron bar. Oh, this guy kills me. He's so funny. Before the tournament began, my ancestor, Max Silbot, explained the rules of the game. And after every goal is scored, the ball is kicked off from the centre of the field. Have you all got that? I would like to propose another rule, McSilvot, if I may. Another one! A new rule for corner kicks. I've always liked taking corners. The corner's a very special place. It's got great angles. You can see everything from there. And, of course, my name is Jack Corner. <laughs> a rule for corner kicks. Not a bad idea. We'll set one down immediately. When a ball is knocked over the goal line by a defending player, a corner shall be awarded. Corners shall be awarded in this tournament whenever appropriate. It's in the rules of the game, so that's that. The football cathedral was full to capacity for the final game between the Count Sentinels and the Knights of the Square Table. There was something in the air. It, no, I mean excitement and tension. Each team had fanatical supporters, all hoping their players would set the game alight and there'd be fireworks. This is your commentator, Quasimodus, bringing you the grand finale, where the best player here will win the hand of Princess Matilda. Well, obviously not just the hand, but the rest of her too, and each player will now demonstrate his shooting ability to see who has the hardest shot in the game. Well, they lack technique, but the power's there, and it's reckless shooting like that that gets my back up. Aye, aye, the bells, the bells, it's Quasimodo, the hunchback of Notre Dame. Here's one, Your Majesty, as you like this. There's a dragon, a peasant and a knight sitting in a bar. No, 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 wait a minute. I say, I say, I say. Good day, good night. That's another day gone already. Get it? Ah! Oh, what a pain. Well, Has your father gone off with his knights? Yes, and I do hope they win. Have you met Sir Jack Corner, Mama? He's a very intelligent boy. So kind. Such a gentleman and so very handsome. You'll marry the winning player, whoever it is. Almost from the first whistle, Max Silvot saw the value of the corner yes, kick rule. Go on, Wardface. Get in the centre. I'll bring it forward. That's the ball up there. None for passes by, not do. Ah! Oh, holy gosh. That's what I call a block. These knights don't fool around. Good call, brother Will. It's a corner when a player from the defending team is the last to touch the ball before it crosses the goal line, on the ground or in the air. The kick will be taken from the corner closest to where the ball went out. It's in the rules of the game. No, no, no. The ball has to be right in the corner. There you are, you see, just like that. Right. Brother Will's right, laddie. If a corner kicks, the ball must be placed inside the corner arc. There. <coughs> what is this, football or pinball? Go! Sentinels lead the knights of the square table by one goal to nil. So the Sentinels lead one goal to nil. I had a hunch this might happen. Aye, aye. That's a funny way to enter a goal on the scoreboard. Anyway, we get the point. <laughs> we are losing one nil, but I'm sure our brave knights of the square table know how to even the score, Excalibur. Dear me, talking to your sword again, you want to get out more, Arthur? Here, go ahead. Gotcha, huh? you won't get past me. Please. Now then. Hey! But I suppose you could do that again, could you? I missed it the first time. Go of course, on. Pug, it would be my pleasure. There. Uh, Pug, uh, you don't mind out where the baddies in this year. Uh, don't uh, learn football uh, technique, we just play dirty. Uh, You've just got to kick him hard to uh, stop him. Uh, oh, I see, that's playing dirty, is it, Wartface? That's what you think will win us this game, do you, eh? Dirty play has a habit of rebounding on you. It was still the first half when suddenly... All right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. What a goal! Shut up, you stupid painter. I'll turn you into a prop there. Come on, you fool! Goal! Sir Jack scores! Oh, it's floating on air, Mother! A marvellous goal by Jack Corner. He really buried that one. It's one apiece, and that's made this tie really exciting for the crowd here. Hey! Hey! They don't call me Bullnet for now. Out! May! Out! Oh, no! Give me the ball! Not this time, Sir Bobby Rufton. The defence is too solid. I'll have to shoot from here. Huh? <laughs> yeah. What the 
What are you laughing at? You've heard of a defensive shield, haven't you? Yeah, but Crikey, you're giving away a corner! Oh, that stupid flag! Oh, me foot! Here's poor foot! You can't move the flagpole, someone might get hurt. A flagpole may not be moved when a corner is being taken, I thought I told you that. That's a go-ed, he's making progress down the wing, he's gonna pass! Oh, what a pull! Huh? Corner's got him covered, he heads it down with that! Oh, great save by Tom Breath! But it's left him rather exposed in the goal area. Now you're really gonna see something. This is my speciality. A marvellous goal, and the Knights of the Square Table take the lead. And there goes the half time whistle. Yay! <laughs> Cat corner with a banana key. What's going on? Who put out the lights? Who art full of my nose so tight? Holy smoke, I've lost a parasite. What a goal! Second half should be terrific. Right! <laughs> Oh, what? Wow! Uh, incoming! Hey, look at this! Well, you I... bungling bowman! Uh, that would have a goal back to what? Come on a minute. Ah. Wrong! A goal can be scored direct from a corner. No, it's the end of the first half. Give me that ball here, laddie. Come on! Oh. Thanks. During half-time, why not visit the beautiful halls of the football cathedral? But don't all rush. It can get a little cramped out there. Oi, look out! No need to push! Oh, oh it's a dead end. Uh... Oh. oh, that's better. Ah! Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. Hello! Just to remind fellow witches, witches knights approaching fast. Got everything you need? Cool. Bells are up for all your bruises and spells. Don't fly off without it. Ah! Time for the start of the second half. Let's see if the knights can hold on or increase their lead. Come on, come on, go, you idiots. Don't let him shoot. Use your head, bone head. Uh -huh. oh! Good man, bone head. Corner to the night. Hey! Oi, what's going on? Players from the opposing team will remain 9.15 metres or 10 yards from the ball until the ball's in play. Those are the rules of the game. That's the way. Good. Take that! Another goal! This must be my lucky day! Hooray! The spin that corner put on that ball was just remarkable! What a score! His ball is a better than penalties! <laughs> oh, it's a goal! It's a wonderful goal! A lovely, sweet, beautiful, beautiful goal! Goal! Bonehead has a corner for the Sentinels. I'm going to take this corner my way. Just kick it lightly and dribble it towards goal myself. Hey! No! You can't do that, Bonehead. If you touch the ball again before it touches another player, it's a free kick to the opposing team. Indirect, of course. Hmm? Bobby Ruffson to take the kick. Right, here you go. <laughs> It's all over. Mindless witness to a good hurt. And so the first feudal football tournament came to an end with an historic victory for the Knights of the Square Table. Victory! And my ancestors' ruling on corner kicks became law. Princess Matilda? I would never have married anyone other than Sir Jack Corner. I know, my dear. I realised that a long time ago. You made a lovely ah. couple. Mm. Let's go, Arthur. Mm. We have to prepare for a championship wedding. Ah, hey! Look! <laughs> Oh, 
remarkable game. But there's so much to tell, I better get it all down on paper fast. That's what a good reporter does. Ah! No! Keep away, Temple I say, I say, you're the one about the microphone and the Scotsman. Oh! Hey, what are you doing? Calm down, Mac. I'm just practicing my corner kicks. Well, you'd better stop practicing before you wreck my house. Here's that I flag have... you asked me for. Thanks, Mac. Let's review those corners, shall we? OK, Mac, now let's see. There, Yay. a corner is awarded <laughs> when a defending player is the last to touch the ball before it goes over the goal line. Yeah, I understand that bit, Mac. The whole ball must be inside the corner quadrant before the kick is taken. What if the ball goes off the field and then back in like this? Oh! Don't worry about the vase. It was only an irreplaceable family heirloom. If the ball goes out and then comes back in, then it's a goal kick. I see. Go on. As with the kickoff, a goal can be scored directly from a corner. If you'll pay attention for once. And there's one more thing, Mick. Oh, yeah? The player who takes the kick is deemed to be on or behind the goal line. Therefore, there can be no offside from a corner kick. Mm. Opposing mm. players cannot be closer to the ball than 9.15 metres or 10 yards until the ball is played. Now, are you listening? Sure thing! The player taking the corner cannot touch the ball again until it's touched by another player. That's all we got time for today, Mick, so let's get the kettle on. Oh! Oh! Goal! Oh, what a goal! No! Oh, I should be angry, but you're only a microphone. You can't help it. Oh, well, that's full time, so we'll see you again, football fan. Imagine for a moment what it would be like to play football without a referee. Who would signal the offences committed and the goals? Who would control the playing time? In our next episode, we will travel to Byzantium, the fascinating capital of the Eastern Roman Empire. There we will see how in those times the most just of the wise, my ancestor, Mac Justinian, established the role of the referee in the first school for game officials. So be there. We'll be waiting for you on board in a new and fun-filled journey through time in our football story. I'm going to be singing you on the Fair Play song. Just listen to this. Well, your jokes were rubbish. Let's see what your singing's like.